was watching a recent um, training video with Devin Haney, man, on fight height, man, and uh, looked like he trying to go for the for the kill shot against George Cambosos in the rematch, man. Question is, should Devin Haney go for the kill shot, or she, or should he just do what he always been doing best, what what's been working for him so far, man? Cause you know, like I said, man, um, everybody questions Devin Haney's power. I think personally, you know, um, he's drained a little bit, man, at that weight class. But you know, it might be a thing where that's just how he is. He just, he's just not a big puncher. We, we don't know. We'll see when he gets up to 140. If it be the same deal. Um, but Devin might be one of them people that, you know, when they, uh, when they move up, they gain their power. You know, some boxers lose power. Some gain power when they when they move up, you know, like Bud. He's one of them. That's why I keep telling everybody. I think Bud, when you move up, he's gonna be stronger. But should Devin Haney go for the kill shot, man? Should he go for the knockout? And if he does, man, will that cost him? You know, can he? Will he pay the consequences against George Cambosos for trying to go into the knockout? Because here's the thing, man. Um, George Cambosos, I know he's not a real big puncher, man, but he did manage to drop Tiafimo Lopez. Now, it looked like that was a flash knockdown, but at the same time, um, I don't know, man. I, I I think Devin need to just do what he do. Do what he does, do what he been doing. I think he said he gonna go in there and do what he been doing, which is a good plan, unless he trying to throw us off and he really going for the KO. I would love to see him knock the fuck out of uh, Joel Cambosos, man, but sometimes Devin Haney, man, like he tends to wanna, wanna please the crowd, which is good. Because, I mean, after all, man, the crowd is what's paying this dude. And lots of times, I mean, face it, man, We, as much as we like to see the sweet science, a lot of times, man, we want to see knockouts too. You know, that's just what it is. This is a brutal sport. It's barbaric. And they know that, and that's what they sign up for. So, um, at the same time, man, if that's not his comfort zone, man, he shouldn't, like, force himself to really go in there and try to stand in the pocket with Cambosos. Because I think that's what Cambosos want. He want to stand there and go in the pocket and all that. Haven't really heard much from Cambosis as much as we did before the first fight. You know, so we'll see, man. We'll see. But um, should be a pretty interesting fight to see how this one goes. Devin probably already figured him out from the first fight, knowing what he can and can't do, knowing when he can stand there and when he can't, knowing when he can plant his feet and all that. I think he probably got his number. We'll find out um, this weekend, man. So much love to Devin Haney. Hope he pull off the win and whoop this boy ass. And hopefully the third fight be a fucking Tank or Lomachenko, man. I don't want to see him fight nobody else. I want to see him be fight either Tank, Loma, or Shakur Stevenson. That's the only three fights I want to see Devin in. Hell, I want to see him fight all three back to back. He fight all three of them dudes back to back, man. Devin is the fucking man, man. But we'll see. Anyway... Let me know what you think about this, man. This is your boy, Rebel Life Boxing, man. Make sure y'all subscribe and drop comments because I love comments. I love responding to my family, man. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.